everybody, this is Tim from Mainly Muscle Cars along with cameraman Ken and today we are looking at a 1970 Mach 1. Uh, gorgeous car, man just gotta love black on these things. My favorite color by far and every time I, we don't have one for a while and then we get a black one I fall in love all over again. So a lot of fun, I love them in black. But uh, this is a real deal Mach 1, so it's the 05 body code. Uh, this one has a 351 Cleveland four barrel in it uh, with some nice modifications. Now it's not the numbers matching motor. Uh, this is now a four bolt main. It has the Boss uh, 351 heads and those have the factory screw in studs, guide plates. Um, this one's got uh, forged pistons. Uh, setup, it runs nice. It's got a mild cam in it, just a little bit of a burble to the idle. Uh, very, very good power out of this one though, a lot of fun to drive. Uh, behind that, it's an automatic, nine inch rear, uh, has front disc brakes, a uh, couple cool options it does have. It has uh, rack and pinion steering and that is power assist, which is a really nice option to have. That rack is nice and tight, uh, drives really well. Uh, this one also has uh, air conditioning. Now it is the uh, later style setup, so it has the uh, more modern pump with a 134 system in it. So this one, uh, again, the black paint is just gorgeous on it. Uh, the paint actually is several years old and there's some small imperfections, but overall this one presents very well. Um, panels are very straight, very super solid car. Uh, trim in such is a nice condition. You can see just how nice the bumpers and those taillight bezels are. They look good. Uh, wheels are a 17 inch uh, Koi C67 setup. A little bit of dust on the side from us driving. But it's got a 27540 in the back and then in front we've got uh, 178 with a, uh, this one I believe is the 23540 uh, in front. Um, but nice system, fits well, uh, tires grip well. These are a Cooper tire so a nice tire everything works right um, anyway we'll get in and we'll show you what she's like inside <laughs> As you can see, it fires up nice. Uh, just a real nice run in Cleveland in this one. Uh, again, we've got uh, that big fan, uh, big radiator and such up there, so it does keep the engine cool even when you're using that air. Uh, nice warm day, and it has actually stayed right at the bottom of normal. So, nice setup. Anyway, we'll get out and see what she feels like. Now with this rack, it does give it a nice firm feel as far as the steering is nice and linear, uh, very much like your late model cars are going to be. So, Also nice flat handling in this one. The Mach 1's came with a competition suspension which gave you firmer springs and larger sway bars. So this one does handle nice and you also throw in the 17 inch rims and they actually have a pretty nice handling car. Good deep note to the exhaust, but it's real quiet inside the car. Right now we're driving with the windows down. Uh, you do get a good exhaust note, but uh, something that you would be comfortable with driving, like if you wanted to drive to a car show or take a cruise with the buddies or something, and uh, you could easily spend 50 to 100 miles in this thing and not be tired of it, which is a big deal. Some muscle cars out there, they're just, uh, they're tinny sounding, it's very loud. Um, you're chasing them all over the road, so. When, when you get where you're going, you're typically ready to get out of a lot of the cars. This one here, very comfortable car. Um, suspension's firm, but it's not punishing. It handles nice, so you're gonna feel comfortable out on the highway at uh, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour. Okay, so out on the highway, you can kind of mix it up with the late model cars, and you can hang with traffic. Uh, or out on the country roads or the highways, you can actually get some good sustained speed. Motor's very comfortable, it's very smooth. So it's a very easy one to deal with. Okay, we're just gonna go through 
through some corners here just to kind of show you how flat that the car handles. Uh, nice and neutral handling. Uh, please excuse Ken, he's doing his best to grip as much as he can without a harness on. So, but car handles nice and flat. These are uh, some pretty good corners. And I know with video, you can't always get the best uh, view of everything, but this one here. But uh, as, as you hopefully can see, <laughs> but the uh, car does handle really nice. Uh, very predictable, uh, good feeling car. I think that uh, anybody who uh, anybody who's lucky enough to buy this is going to have a lot of fun with a very capable car, great power, just a good fun car.